Welcome to a new Monday morning routine. It's Coffee with Strangers with Kelly Lemon. Hey, um, I'm Ashley Hawkins. I'm the executive director of Studio 23, and we're here today um, doing community 8x10 portraits uh, with a 120 year old studio camera. We're at Marcus David Peters Circle. This is the first time I stepped in this circle was when it had already been reclaimed as Marcus David Peters Circle. Studio 23 is anchored in the use of art for the good of our community. We are inherently a printmaking studio, a community print shop, using the power of art making to agitate for social change. This is a, a wild experiment, honestly, that we are um, just testing out for the very first time today, but we have this beautiful camera that's capable of taking really lovely, like vintage feeling photos. And we just converted our print truck into a dark room. Um, so normally it's a screen printing truck or a couple weeks back we came and did banners with giant wood type. Um, so this is the next iteration experimental dark room truck. So we think it's working. Um, and then we think it's a really powerful way of documenting the stories of the folks who are here actively reimagining the circle. We are prioritizing the IPOC. So this is not the day to bring your family. We love you, we love your family, um, but you know, white folks can get portraits at other times. <laughs> so right now, um, today, we were expressly prioritizing the IPOC to the front. I think we're paying a lot more attention. Um, we are working alongside folks very actively who have been engaged in this work for an extremely long period of time. Um, I think increasingly we're changing rapidly and quickly and this circle is a testament to that. Like our community reclaimed, reclaimed it for themselves and renamed it and this entire conversation around you know, recontextualizing Monument Avenue and having commissions and having a lengthy administrative process, well, our city showed up and did it in less than a week's time, free of charge. Now, behind me, there are families. My children are here today. Like, folks are interacting. They're working together to continue to push for change and for social justice in our city and even more broadly. So this to me is like Richmond showing up in a very powerful visual way and it's happening all over the city. Um, it's happening in marches and protests and I think that we're collectively paying attention and, and agitating more actively than ever before. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it it's absolutely beautiful now and it's beautiful because this is the collective work of thousands and thousands and thousands of hands you know that people are making beautiful work they're bringing it here they're leaving it knowing that it's ephemeral it'll stay for a couple days maybe somebody else will take it and it'll go to their home maybe it will be walking down the street at, at a protest to me like this is a public art project without all of that bureaucracy that normally goes into approving what is considered acceptable as public art.